Ron May has been out in Honkai Star Rail for a few days now, so today I want to look at some really strong team comps you could run for her that are just going to make her look even better than she already is. Now, normally for these team videos, I like to have different like categories for characters and just like give a bunch of different options you can use. But for Ron May, and I think I'm going to do this for support characters going forward, is I'm going to show a few different types of team comps rather than looking at specific characters. So yeah, I have three comps that I want to talk about today. Now there is, you know, some kind of, there is some amount of wiggle room with each comp in terms of like some of the characters that you bring, but I do think that they are all extremely good for Ruan. So starting out with my first comp here, it's going to be a DOT centric comp. Now the main you know, characters for this comp is uh, you're obviously going to want your Ruan Mei, you're going to want Kafka because Kafka is basically the enabler of DOT comps. And then one of these three here, either Sampo, Gwenaifen, or Luka. I do think that Sampo and Gwenaifen are just better than Luka for dot comps specifically. So I probably would recommend them. But, you know, if you have Luka and you have him well built for dot, then he can also be very good. And then for your sustainer, you know, you could run any sustainer, but ideally for dot comps, you're going to run a run Huo Huo if you do have her. Now, the reason why this comp is extremely strong for Ruan Mei is because Ruan Mei, it, she is able with her ultimate to apply an effect on enemies that once you weakness break them during the field duration of her ultimate, the enemy is when they first try to recover from the weakness break, they're actually going to be put back into their weakness break while still taking whatever the break damage that they would take when they were recovering. Now, this is really good, you know, normally for any kind of char character, any kind of team build, it's going to be really good just because you're going to have more time where the opponent can not attack. But for the DOT teams, this is insanely good because this is just basically another free time for you to have them take DOT damage while they're not able to attack you. So when they do try to recover the first time, they'll be able to take the, whatever DOT damage you have, which for this team, it'll, you'll definitely have Shock, but then you also have either Wind Shear or Burn or Bleed. And then when they try to recover from the Weakness Break the second time, they're also going to take all that damage as well as they have on them, which is really powerful. So this team ends up being very strong for that. Plus also the all types resistance penetration from Ron May will be very good paired along with the Huo Huo attack increase on her ultimate. And then, you know, just all these characters being very strong appliers of DOT and also Kafka being able to detonate other characters' DOTs is just going to lead to a lot more damage on this team. And I do think ideally, I think, do think that, you know, the best DOT team is going to end up being, at least for right now, before the, we get any more DOT characters, it's going to be Kafka, Ron May, either Sampo or Gwenaifen, and then Huo Huo. So yeah, that is the first really good team comp for Ron May. Then the next one, which I think probably has the most uh, variety compared to, you know, what you can do with the comp is that's going to be a hyper carry team here. So I just put characters that I've been running for my hyper carry team because I have been running uh, Jing Liu, Ruan Mei, Ting Yun, and then a sustain, which for me has been Fu Xuan, but you know, it's whatever sustain will work on that team. There's not really like a preference there because the sustainer on that team mainly is just trying to keep the team alive because you already do have enough support. Now, when it comes to this team, you could definitely change it up for whatever is good for your account, whatever your DPS character is. And, you know, that could be Jing Liu, it can be a Bobby Lune, it could be Blade. You know, there's a bunch of different options. It could be Sila as well. Depending on who you have is going to determine the other characters on the team. The other, well, the other one character, because you're already going to have your DPS and you're going to have Ron May. So depending on which other support you use can be, you know, dependent on your DPS because some supports are going to work better with some DPSs. Like, Branya is going to be amazing for characters like Sila, for example, whereas Ting Yun is a lot more universal. So it depends on who you're going to be running. I have, you know, used both of them with Jing Liu. They both do very well. I do end up using Ting Yun, though, for the action advancement with the Dance 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 Light Cone. But... All in all, this hyper carry team is very versatile depending on where your account is. So yeah, don't feel like you have to use Jing Liu or you have to use Imbabur Lunae. Just whatever DPS you have that is you know your best DPS on your account. Pair them up with Ruan Mei 
and then either support or you can even run a debuffer like Pella or Silver Wolf as well and then a good sustain character and that team should do extremely well for you. Just with Ron May being able to give the all types of resistance penetration, the increased uh, break efficiency, the speed for the team as well. It's just going to be a very good time running this kind of team. Then the last team comp I want to go over for Ruan Mei, which is if you did pull for her, this is definitely a more accessible kind of team comp and there is some variety you can have with it. But I kind of focus on a way that I would run the team or that I want to run the team once I actually have this character built it is going to be a break effect team revolving around Ruan Mei and Shui Yi. Now, I'm sure people, or at least most people who pulled on the Ruan Mei banner also did pull copies of Shui Yi, or at least one copy, hopefully. And Shui Yi is, from what I'm seeing so far, because I haven't fully built her out yet, she is looking very promising. And because of that, and because of the way that she benefits off of break effect, she's going to work extremely well with Ruan Mei. Now, for this comp, I specifically put Silver Wolf and Fu Xuan here because Silver Wolf is able to apply the Quantum Weakness, which will allow Shui Yi to further increase her stacks of Karma. And then Fu Xuan just adds another Quantum character to the, to the team and makes the Silver Wolf um, skill a little bit more consistent with applying the proper weakness type. As you, you, you don't want to be running four different elements with Silver Wolf a lot of the time because you're just not going to get the element on the enemy that you want to get on them. So this is definitely I think something that's important and something that I'll probably run. It's kind of like a version of the Mono Quantum team, just, you know, with not being Mono Quantum because you're also running Ron May. But yeah, with having Ron May's weakness break efficiency, plus also extra break effect for the entire team through her one of her traces, Shui Yi is going to benefit from that a lot. And with the application of weaknesses from Silver Wolf, that's just going to help Shui Yi build up her karma stacks and get that follow up attack a lot more consistent consistently. So I definitely do think that this team, you know, could be changed up a little bit. If you don't want to go the Silver Wolf route and you're going to use it more in like niche circumstances, you can definitely run a different, either like a support, another support or a debuffer here. Like you can switch Silver Wolf with like Pela or Welt, for example. You can switch Fu Xuan with any sustained character. I just think that running a like quantum centric team will probably be the most consistent in all situations. But if you don't have, you know, Silver Wolf and Fu Xuan, then Shui Yi can still definitely work alongside Ron Mei with other characters on the team as well. So yeah, those are the three main team comps that I think are going to be amazing for Ron Mei. Let me know in the comments below which of these team comps that you are planning to use or if you're planning to use a team comp that I didn't even mention. But with that, everyone, I want to thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed and you haven't already, definitely be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe to the channel, and ring that notification bell. But with that, I will see you all next time.